I just thought it was enormously practical. Classic film noir character. Yeah, no, I think he just wears very practical clothing. You know, that was really where it came from. Like, what does he wear? Well, what's his life like? And so, you know, he's on the move a lot. He has to have all of his clothing has to go with all the rest of his clothing. You know, everything has to be able to go with everything else. It has to be layers so that he can be in any kind of weather in any kind of climate. He has to have head protection because... <laughs> and for the sun, you know, or cold or whatever. Uh, and he has to be able to go from, you know, out in the field and get in a helicopter or something and, and then go into a, a bank or a, you know, meeting with somebody where he has to be dressed well. Um, shoes have to be very practical. Uh, so they have to look like dress shoes and yet they've got a, ru they've got a rubber tread bottom, like they're heavy, like you tromp around in the, out in the woods and stuff. Um, and he always has to have a jacket because he's got a firearm in the small of his back. Uh, and yet his clothing also had to look as if, you're not sure where it came from. You know, like, you know, part of it may have come from Hong Kong, but another part of it might have come from South America, and another part of it might have come from, you know, it can't be of a place or a time either because a lot of his life over the last decades have been sort of isolated and removed from whatever pop culture might be or any of the rest of that. Um, so it has to feel sort of timeless too, you know? 